Hey everybody, me Bryson Booker. Welcome to this Friday's review. And I'm very, very excited to do this review today. Today, I have... I was Okay, here's the story. Here's the scoop. Yesterday, I was looking downstairs in my basement. Okay, right? And you know that place where we keep all of this stuff, maybe from the 90s that we had, that we didn't know we had, but these aren't from the 90s. These are actually from the early 2000s, like about 2004, 2005. But I found some old... Phillips bookshelf speakers. Now, here's the story on these guys. These were a surround sound system. And it used to it, it used to be speaker, sub, and there was another speaker that looked exactly like this. Three piece system. Um, and it came with a little receiver. They were made by Phillips in about 2004, 2005. And uh, well, I found the main speaker. But here's the thing, um, the original plug that was with it was gone, so I had no way of hooking the, and the receiver that came with these guys is also gone, but I surprisingly still have the box, which is really, really weird, I know. And, uh, well, I really couldn't take the box out and show you because it was stuffed under all this stuff, getting these out were a pain in the butt. But anyway, I was able to find these guys and hook them up because on the back of them, they have stereo. Look how big that is. That's a that's bookshelf speaker big right there. That's why I call them bookshelves. On the back of them, there was a stereo uh, plug, speaker cable. And that's actually feeding directly into my jukebox, which is right here. On the back of my jukebox, uh, there's, there's an output for stereo speakers. So that's how I was, I was able to hook this speaker and the subwoofer up for me to test them. And I can switch between the internal speakers of the jukebox and the external speakers of the jukebox to go out to these guys, which is pretty cool. So if I don't want to use them, but I want to keep them plugged in, I can just switch to the internal speakers of the jukebox and it'll play like that. But right now it's on external because I want to test these. So here's their specs. I don't know if you all can see that, but it says speaker system MCD193. So that's the model. And the impedance is 8 ohms, serial number, made in China, blah, blah, blah. But I love, look how, that's some real wood. And, by the way, these speakers are amazing. Nice cloth grill. And what I love about this system, when I, what I did love about it when the other speaker was with it and the receiver, this is like a surround sound without the five speakers. So it's like, this little part right here is a special part. It like delivers the sound from here and there, but there's no speaker there. But for some reason, somehow, Philips managed to get a surround sound feel without the all the surround sound speakers and all the extra wires. The same thing with the subwoofer. The subwoofer even acts like a surround sound speaker. On the side, you got a big, like mid kind of bassy driver. The bass is really deep on this thing, so when I test these, you're probably not going to hear the bass that well because um, it's so deep, but you can you can hear this mid-range here, and this kind of acts like a surround sound system. All of the speakers work together, and that's what makes it sound excellent. The same thing with this wood cabinet. This one's actually a little beefier, a little heavy, but you still have that same nice wood finish, and then on the back, you have the same... Same information, speaker system, model number. And it just looks nice. Just wherever you put it. So, here comes the fun part. Let's test them out. They're already hooked up, so all I have to do is turn on my radio. Stock composite decking. Floats. Stuff stuff improving. While supplies last, not available in Alaska and Hawaii. Taking offer bound for 526 on deck boards. Only see store for details. Looking for a salon that's out of this world? Oh my goodness, every time I try to test speakers or radios or something, there's always a freaking commercial on. I hate commercials. Put it on the Grange Road. Emo keep. This person gonna answer. And put it in private. I can only play 30 seconds of this.
Roger. All right, that's all I can do before I get in trouble. So, was that amazing or what? You pro once again, you probably couldn't hear the bass that well because it's so deep, so rich. But uh, probably you could hear the mids, and of course you could hear this guy. It sounds very loud. Even with just a speaker and a sub, you still get great, great sound. And since these are have speaker wires at the end of them, you can actually hook these up to a receiver if you wanted to. Um, now, I don't... This is 8 ohms, so I don't know. Maybe a, a little Sony receiver or something will work with these. I have them in my radio, so my radio is powering them. But you could, you can... Hook these up to a receiver, a different one, if you would like, because I now I couldn't do this with the main speaker because the main speaker had a power plug that you plug into the wall, and another and uh, speaker terminals for these guys. So these two speakers went into the main right speaker, and uh, well, I could I hooked it up, but I couldn't find the proper plug, and it was like a what was it called? It wasn't, it was like, I can't think of the name of that drug, but it was like a round plug with like three, three little, four little, five, no, five prongs in the middle of it. Optical. It was an optical plug. And so I could not find that optical plug, so I couldn't hook it up uh, to another optical device. And I didn't have the receiver, so I couldn't even hook these up to the old receiver. The old receiver got thrown away, and that was cheaply made. We only we only played about three, like six DVDs on it, and it gave up. But what do you expect? This stuff was made in China. But hey, the sound is excellent. I love it. Check these out if you can. I'm gonna call them the Philips MCD bookshelf speakers. Go get them. They're awesome. There's an awesome set. If you can find the full set, that'll be even. They'll sound even better. Phillips, everybody. Thanks for watching.